What is up everybody? I am Eric and this is episode 26 of the $20 game collection where I take a $20 bill and I grow it into a game collection by buying, selling, trading, and basically flipping stuff in order to get better stuff in order to actually grow the collection by going to Goodwill, thrift stores, or uh, flea markets, pawn shops, anywhere that I can find games under market value, whether it's Facebook Marketplace or even Craigslist, and getting the games, cleaning them up, testing them, and then trading them or flipping them in order to grow the collection. If you are new here, what is up? Go ahead and hit that button up there. There is a playlist to the whole series where we started with 20 bucks to where we are now. We have a ton of awesome games, a bunch of consoles in the collection, and quite a bit of money. We have $318 to start this week off. So hopefully we can go out there and find some good stuff, as well as some sell some stuff that we've had in the collection that we don't really need, but we bought to flip and make money off of. This week actually started off pretty slow. I went to a Goodwill, a pawn shop, and a thrift store, and I didn't end up finding anything and that was kind of a bummer however we did end up selling something very quickly into the week and that was just dance four for the Wii I only paid four dollars for this and it ended up selling for eight dollars so that is some welcome money it's not much but it is doubling our money so I'm very happy there but that's okay because I grabbed my phone and started scrolling Facebook marketplace and I stumbled across an actual good deal for an Xbox One S. Now this deal was for $125 and to get it to my house it was $140 out of the game collection which is a lot of money but that's okay because this turned out to be really awesome. We got it so let's go ahead and talk about what it is. I was kind of surprised because when this showed up to my front door I saw how thin it was and I was like this can't be the Xbox One S. I was like that there's no way they just put it in a box like this, but lo and behold, they did. I opened this thing up and it was basically just the console and the controller. So it came with one of the white controllers and I had a copy of Battlefront to test with. I'll probably end up selling this with it, but for the most part, it's just a console. I'm gonna try to grab it out of here without really messing things up here. I'm gonna set this down. And basically here you have it. This was only $140 shipped. I looked it over, it had never been taken apart. Everything works when I plugged it in, so I'm very happy there. So I'm thinking I should be able to sell this with the controller for around $200. So it's not the biggest deal, but at the time, I didn't really have much going for us for the week and I wanted to pick up something that way we could kind of pick up the momentum and see if we could get some good stuff. And so I found this and I'm really happy I did because this should make us about $60, which is totally awesome. And that's like the price of a new game nowadays. So like if you're looking to pick up Pokemon Legends Arceus, I could flip this and buy that, but I already have it in the collection, of course. Um, but we've got to keep going and see what else we can find. After we got that Xbox One, I kind of wanted to try to go ahead and pick up some things that I should list because we've got to get some more money moving because I have a deal in my grasp almost, but we need the money in the collection in order to spend it. So I've got a stack of games here that I think we should definitely sell because I don't really need them in the collection. I thought about keeping some of these games, but I think it'll be okay to sell them. First off, Mortal Kombat 11, then W2K Battlegrounds, both of these on the Nintendo Switch. I think these should be able to sell pretty quickly because they are Switch games. And then I've got Wii Sports Resort. I already have another copy back on the shelves. Tie 2 that we paid only a dollar for. Maybe we can get six or seven bucks for it. And the Super Mario Bros. Wii, new Super Mario Bros. Wii, we paid 10. Hopefully we can get 25. And then I've got a stack of NES games here. We've got Dragon Power, we've got Krusty's Funhouse, we've got Star Force, 
Street Fighter 2010 The Final Fight, and then Mario Bros. Duck Hunt and World Class Track Meet. All of these games, I think, are games that we could sell and at least double or triple our money on what we have invested. Some of these even more, but I definitely want to get some of these games out of the collection. That way we can get something very special in the near future that I see that I want to buy and I'm really stoked upon. So we're going to list these and hope that these sell for some good money. Speaking of selling for good money, the Super Nintendo sold on I think either Mercari or Facebook Marketplace for $107, which is totally amazing because we only put $50 into this. So I'm very glad there. I took some games out and we sold some from that bundle and we even still have some back on the shelves behind me. But I'm glad we sold this because it was one thing that was a console. I wanted to kind of move quickly and I definitely thought we would make our money back. We paid 50 for it. We made 107 just on this bundle alone. So I think it was definitely well worth it. And that's awesome because we can have some more money in the game fund and uh, it's time to go game hunting some more now. So again, I don't know what it was. This just wasn't a good week for actual thrift stores. I hit up two or three more and I didn't find any until I stumbled into the pawn shop which you probably have seen because I've picked up Nintendo Wii bundles there before and they had an amazing deal, but ho hold on just one second. I got another Nintendo Wii bundle. This bundle was actually pretty crazy. It came with the system. It came with a bunch of different accessories and I only paid $50 for it. So let's go ahead and try to test it out and see if there are any discs in it. And then we'll talk about everything that it came with. So there we had it. It actually had Wii Sports inside of it, which is totally awesome. But we got to talk about some of these awesome accessories that came with it. Bundle ended up having three Wiimotes. Two of them were Wii Motion Pluses, which is awesome. There was a blue one, a black one, and then just a regular white Wiimote. There were three nunchucks with it and actually had all the cables that you would need, like the power supply and the AV cords. But it also had two sensor bars, one wireless one and one regular, which is totally awesome because now I can use that extra one for another bundle in case I don't have the sensor bar, which is totally awesome. And then it even came with a Wii uh, Mario Kart Nerf wheel, which was pretty awesome. Usually I don't see the Nerf ones very often, so that's pretty cool to see in this collection. And like I said, this only cost me 50 bucks for this Nintendo Wii bundle. Now, a lot of you don't think the Wii bundles are very flashy, and I understand that. However, you can get some really good money out of it. Like those Wii Motion Plus um, controllers can get 20 bucks each. The blue one, maybe even a little bit more like 22 because it's a little bit harder to find. But then that had the console and all the accessories that that needed, as well as Wii Sports happens to be in it. So that's even more money, about another $20 there. So I'm always happy when I see the pawn shop that has these Wii bundles because they're always awesome and I'm always going to pick them up if I can. This week we started off the game fund with $318. We spent $140 on that Xbox One S and then we spent $50 on that Nintendo bundle lot. Hopefully I can list at least the Xbox One this week and we'll get that kind of out of the collection as soon as possible because I want to buy something specific. I'm not going to ruin it in this video, but you'll see it in the next one if we get enough money. And then we ended up making some money. We made $107 from the Super Nintendo bundle, and then we made $8 from Just Dance for the Wii. So, end all be all, we certainly have $243 in the game fund right now, which is totally awesome. That's a pretty good chunk of change. Hopefully we can get a little bit more and make some more money. Maybe I'll list that 2DS XL from last week or something like that, along with those games as well to try to generate some more money because I really want to pick this thing up. 
Um, but with that being said, I'm really glad that we ended up picking this stuff up. Check that video out if you haven't seen it already. But I'm like looking around at all the stuff we got this week and that bundle was absolutely crazy. I should at least double my money on that Wii bundle, if not more. But I got to get out of here. So go ahead. Check that video out.